and then they do it again. Or it's like this <laughs> grand spectacle. Welcome back to The Sizzle, our show based on K-pop, K-dramas, and K-culture. So you guys asked for it in the comments when we did our giveaway last um, month or last week. Um, we wanted to talk about dating. Yeah, dating in <laughs> Korea. <laughs> in Korea, yes. Um, what are your thoughts about it? We're, we're both from the US, so uh, I think we have uh, different views on maybe what's dating is like yeah. Korea. What, 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 how about you? What, what, what did you? What was your first impression of uh, um, Korea? Dating culture is very different here. I feel like it's um, it's very intense <laughs> and it's very much like the dramas where it's like mm. all or nothing kind oh. of situations where yes. um, people meet and then they date and they're like, "I'm in love with you," and then suddenly, "I'm not in love with you." How about <laughs> like, have you heard of so, so getting? Ah, uh, yeah, like the blind date system blind we have dates. here. <laughs> have you ever gone on one? Have I ever been on a... Yes, I think so. A you long have? time ago. <laughs> well, if you guys don't know what blind dates are in Korea, it's literally like, um, usually friends or families mm -hmm. that like set you up. Yeah, so with someone they know and usually it's someone who's also single and they want to have a date so they like yeah. sometimes they'll do like a double date like so your friend and then their like boyfriend and then that friend that they're trying to hook you up with yeah. and then like you gradually separate yeah yeah because because then, then pe it, it, it's people are uncomfortable at first so that's why they do group dates yeah. like within their friends so it's kind of like not really a date it's kind of like a hangout yeah. And then once you get to know the other person, you kind of like get your privacy. And the thing I found very interesting when I came to Korea was couple culture. Well, yeah. And really if you guys don't know what that is, it's what? It's a lot. It's uh, matching <laughs> a couple of rings, a couple of outfits mm -hmm. where you're wearing the same clothes, same shoes, same jewelry. Or even um, my friend, she has an app on her phone that tells her boyfriend where they are. And That's too much. It, but it's like a whole couple app where it's like it says you're, when you started dating, it has where you are, what your favorite things are, and you can like play quizzes with each other. Actually, that's very important <laughs> if you're thinking about getting married in Korea, mm -hmm. which we will do the next video on. So make sure you guys check that one out. But uh, I'll, I'll let you know why in that video. Um, but anyways, um, dating is, like you said, very um, serious. Yes. They don't really, do they, do you think they have like casual fling relationships in Korea? I mean, not really. I feel like if they really like someone, then they want to date them and they're like very serious. But if they aren't very interested in you, I don't think so. It's like- They don't want to waste time. They don't want to waste time. Yeah. It's like maybe they'll have a date with you and then they'll probably like, okay, this is not working. And I'll yeah. continue. Yeah. Let us know if you've had, a, if you've been to Korea, if you dated someone in Korea and what was the experience like for you? Um, have, have you personally? Yes. Okay, how was that? Really? Um, all of them were very different. <laughs> all of the relationships. Was, okay, was it similar to U.S. the way they approach and you know going on a date like details? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think it was. What's the difference? They you? were very shy. I think because oh, the I'm guys. Yeah, or? because I was okay. a foreigner. I've never had someone come up to me. Like directly. So you approached them, or what was either it? they're like friends of friends, oh, okay. or okay. it was like we met like through Instagram or something like that. So Ooh. it was like never that I was, you know, like on the street and someone's like, I have to have your number. Yeah. But yeah. I've had, I've heard that happen to a couple of my friends where they're oh. just walking down the street and then someone's like, You're the most beautiful person in the world. They like, do wow. that a lot, especially <laughs> when we first came yeah like, there weren't too many like foreigners on the streets but if you were uh, a foreigner that wasn't asian mm -hmm. okay let's just say that they would think you were exotic so, so pretty much any other skin color except for asian 
they would be like, you, are, <laughs> like you know because i'm asian right and i'm not special <laughs> i don't stick out one of us, <laughs> the only thing that sticks out is like maybe how i dress or um you know certain facial features or um other things but in terms of uh, i think exotic look mm -hmm. they would come up to you and they would literally talk to you on the street which they never do ever <laughs> they never do uh if you're korean and you walk down the street they would never talk to you no you know I think <laughs> unless so, you're like super i think that happened to me one time and then he was like please teach me english i was like oh, okay i see what this is <laughs> you need a tutor and not a book have, have, I, I think like um korean people when they do um, dating, they kind of take it all very seriously in terms of the way they dress, where you go to eat. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's rarely like like the first time, the uh, first couple of times. It's not very like casual. I feel like they make it like a, an event. I, everything. <laughs> and, and so that's how I feel. Um, and when, there's like certain dating. things you have to like do like. Um, before, I think a, lot, a while ago, it was like all the couples would go to the like, Namsan Tower and they do the lock and things, but they don't really do that as much anymore. Yeah, so, what do they do now? So now, what like, the kids they, do? they go to like Latte World and they dress up together and they take oh. a picture. At On the, the first date, even? Not first date, but usually like in the first couple of months. months like, or they're like, okay, uh, this is like our 100th day or something <laughs> like that. I see it all the time on my Instagram. I'm like, oh, you've been together a while. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I think it's a lot more fun now. Like, if you're older, I think it depends on how your age bracket. So let's say if you're 30, right, or late 20s, and you're a working person, right, mm -hmm. and you live in Korea for work or whatever, um, I feel like that level of dating is different than early 20s. It's way more serious because usually, yeah. well, I feel like in the, at the age range, the girls are like, okay, either we're getting married or we're not going to get married ever. I had young, um, uh, classmates when I was doing my MBA that were 24, 23 that got married to Korean guys. Mm -hmm. So they it's were taken common. seriously. Yeah, but. well, that's usually because the guys are a little bit older. Usually. And then they're like, okay, I want to get married and then maybe go abroad later. Yeah. Or I want, because like we, in Korea, there's like this, um, this saying that if you want to learn a language, if you want to learn Korean, or if you want to learn English, you should get a foreign Hi. girlfriend or yeah. boyfriend yeah. so they're like oh I want to learn English and I want to live a like a Western lifestyle maybe then they're like okay this is who I want to go after that's a very big turnoff for me like mm -hmm. I don't know if it is for you but you guys comment too um, I don't want to date someone because they want to learn something like mm -hmm. a language from me because I feel like they're just using me for that and then if they don't like me or they find an excuse to like break off the relationship mm -hmm. then it's like I don't, you know, I wouldn't feel very good about that. I agree. Do, do you think a lot of like foreigners also feel the same? I, I heard that's what. Yeah, like you know, I feel a like lot of um, a about. lot of people. Yeah, they think like, oh, you're not, you don't really like me. You like where I'm from, or maybe yeah. what hair color I have, or something like that. Where it's like more than. Mm, because in the states, it's like everyone's everything. So it's yeah. like it's kind of yeah. you have it a little too. bit in like a sense, but not as like everyone has like a type. Mm. But here, it's more like you're other. So it's interesting and like you can help me kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit different. One last thing I want to point out is um, I, I I really don't want to say anything negative, but I, I'm trying to give you guys the the truth <laughs> is the it's truth. very superficial. <laughs> Uh, when you yeah. when you approach someone in Korea, uh, of course the looks are the number one thing that draw you to someone yeah. to approach, right? Obviously, uh, looks is very important, or maybe what you do um, is very important. But in Korea, it takes it to a different level because it's very interesting, shingiada mm. for for them uh, because it's like I said, exotic. Different. So they want to 
either brag to their friends or they want to take some pictures like hey my girlfriend's from so and so yes. you know from where from uh, you know exotic country or exotic country yeah. you so know. i would be like worried when you date like yeah. to make sure like that's not the case i wouldn't think oh this is all just because i'm a foreigner mm -hmm. even koreans who date in korea they think dating can be very superficial sometimes. oh for sure um and one thing i want to mention is if a korean person takes you to see their parents or their family that means it's pretty serious, <laughs> You're very serious. <laughs> so if, if you just started dating and they bring you to their parents house or see their family they think the relationship is getting pretty serious not necessarily you might think right but for westerners we usually kind of like want to take it easy yeah, and slow right <laughs> um, but some Koreans or I mean it can be anyone yeah. but some Koreans are they, they have a timeline mm. right mm -hmm. like they they have certain like at this age I should be making this much amount of money I should have a house I should have a wife or husband and then when you know. they get closer to the age they're yeah. like okay who am I going to marry right, now so right. they date to marry or they yeah them. so they, they take it I guess it's well it could be anyone in mm. the world but I think in Korea it's um, very formal it's super different I think <laughs> the whole dating culture here is oh well, it's very prevalent you can see it everywhere like people are very um, showy with their like couple so it's never like Oh, I'm dating someone. Well, sometimes it is, and they're very quiet about it. Mm -hmm. But usually, mm -hmm. it's like this is my couple ring. She's the background on my phone, and like there we go everywhere together. Yeah. But I often see that these kinds of relationships, like that, are very showy like that. They don't last a long time. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple months, and mm -hmm. then it's over, and then they do it again. Or it's like this <laughs> grand spectacle, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> As long as you're happy, but I feel like your heart is hurting after a while. <laughs> All right, so that's it for like kind of our first part of our dating series for um, dating in Korea. Let us know down in the comments if you ever dated a Korean person or what was your experience like or what else you want to find out. We're going to also come up with part two with the type of rules or how <laughs> should, you should act during a date on a date in Korea. And so we'll see you in the next video. Annyeong! Annyeong.